Your town, your team, I don't even know which team to talk about because this is a great day to be a Philadelphia Phillies and Eagles fan. First, the Philly, or the Eagles signed probably the second best quarterback corner in the NFL, Nandi Asamoah. Huge deal. Check out the video me, KJ, and Cookie made about that. Now, it's me and AC for this one. Your town, your team, your Philadelphia Phillies. Go out and get the job done. Once again, Ruben Amaro makes a huge splash, trading four prospects, including Jonathan Singleton and Jared Cozart, who are probably going to be really good someday, but the Phillies' time is now. And going to get one of the best right-handed hitting outfielders in the game, Hunter Pence. AC, what are your thoughts? Ruben Amaro gets it done when we need to. Uh, trade deadline, off season, he's making trades and deals left and right, man. He's, he's doing what he's doing a great job. Um, and the fact that we didn't have to give up Dominic Brown or Vance Worley for this is just blows my mind personally. It's pretty amazing. Um, yeah, go ahead. No, 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 just keep going. I just want to say it's pretty amazing. Oh, yeah, it is. I mean, everyone was talking about how the fact that there was no way uh, in hell that we were getting Pence without giving up a big piece, and, you know, we did it, man. It's it's a couple of prospects, but it's World Series or bust this year, so the prospects to me, as, as good as they are, don't mean much. This is a 28-year-old outfielder who can hit the ball. He's probably going to give you basically what Jason Worth gave you here and a way better average. I mean, I, I am pumped. I wasn't huge into this because I didn't want to have to give up Dominic Brown and I didn't want to have to give up uh, Vance Worley. But, I mean, the fact that we did this without giving up either of them, the fact that the Eagles signed Nandi Asamoah on the same day, Oh my God! This is this is amazing. I, I sound like a homer, and I don't even care. This is all. I mean, I, I'll never be as excited as I was the day the Phillies got Cliff Lee back, because that came out of nowhere. But I mean, this is this is a close second. Yeah, this is this is one of the best days in the history of sports in this town, and I am just pumped. The Phillies now. I, I said the Red Sox would be the favorite at the beginning of the year. I'm sorry. Call me a homer, call me what you want. The Phillies are the favorite right now. And then in the, As they should be. Yeah. As the, they should be. Then in the NFL, I mean, I know the Patriots got Ocho Cinco, but when you got Dominique Rogers, Cromarty, Namdi Asamoah, and Asante Samuel back there at the three corner, or as your three corners, they're going to be pretty tough to beat. I mean, I'm not with saying. With a team gonna, like the Eagles, with a team like the Eagles, who their biggest concern last year was defense and uh, mainly actually the pass protection and you go out and you sign DRC and uh, Namdi Asmanwa in the same week yeah I, th I think you're doing something right um, you got Jason Babin on the defensive line with that I know I'm kinda getting off off topic here but I don't really care and then you got the explosive offense I, I don't I don't know if I see a team that can truly truly kill the Eagles in, in any part of, of the game at this point. Yeah, I mean, you talk about, well, and I know we're getting off topic a little bit here, but you talk about the fact that they're getting him, I mean, that, there's rumors now, I guess, that um, that uh, Asante Samuel could be on the block. I hope not, because I'm a big Asante Samuel fan, and I'm opening up an article that's talking about that right now. I mean... It's amazing to me because this is, they signed Jason Babin yesterday. They bring in Jim Washburn to be the defensive co or defensive line guy. So the defensive line is going to be better not only because of that, but because you're talking about having a secondary where you're not going to be able to throw the ball right away. It's just it's incredible. And then you, you got the <laughs> um, you got moves like this that change the faces almost of, of franchises. And they just they they fortify things and they make the most sense for your team and it it gets you it gets you fired up man I'm not gonna lie it's just it's it's really fun to watch our front offices just kick ass like this kicking ass and taking names man this is this is just yeah and it does kind of sound like um not our Asante Samuel could be on his way out but I'm 
I mean, I love Asante Samuel, but he doesn't even come close to what Namdi Asamoah brings. And I mean, it, it's it's not a for sure right there that um, the Eagles will 100% trade him. So maybe they hold on to him and they uh, move Dominique Rogers Camardi to like safety or something. But I, I'm just pumped, man. I am pumped. The Eagles go are going for it. The and they even signed Vince Young, too, which I like that move. The Eagles are going for it. The Phillies are going for it. It's a great time to be in this town. And, I mean, someone just posted on Facebook, my home teams are banging, making these big moves. I mean, this is just, it's great. And I sound like I'm going on and on and on. I don't care. World, World Series, where we might have two parades in the same season. I'll see you guys later.